You know, from the moment you just clicked. Now you're telling me you can really just walk away from that. I have to. This isn't the first time. Tell me you were leaving town before you could. It's different, man. This is Dra that broke the camel's back. Walk in to Teresa's room, see her making love to Ethan. Even though she swears that she thought she was making love to me. Yeah? And what do you think? I guess I agree. But if that's the case, that means that Ken sexually assaulted her. And she wouldn't have to report it. I said, press charges against Ethan or it's finished between us. And, and she wouldn't. So, look, man, Ethan would never assault Teresa. He was in her bed, uninvited. That's sexual assault, Chad. And she wouldn't, she wouldn't report the crime. She wouldn't press charges, not even to save our relationship. You know what that tells me right there? It tells me she will always pick Ethan over me. Yeah. But come on, man. You love her. Yeah, I do, but that's not enough. I refuse to live that life. You can't just, just leave me like this. Listen, don't even try and stop me. The decision's been made. I fought Teresa for you for years, and I lost. Can we not even pretend we have a real marriage here anymore? We do have a real marriage. A marriage is between two people, Ethan, not three people. Even if you loved me, which, I mean, I, I think you do. A marriage is a commitment. And being faithful to, to one person, you know? How many times have I found you running off to Teresa, let alone in her bed, okay? You two could live a thousand miles apart. You would still be completely obsessed with every aspect of her life. Who's she dating? Who does she want to marry? It is sick and pathetic. It's making me sick and pathetic. Don't talk this way. I just want you to stay, all right? If you had any decency or any respect for me at all, you would not beg me to stay. Now, where is the little bag that we keep Jane's things? Honey, honey, I can't take Jane. Of course I can take Jane. Jane and I deserve to start fresh somewhere, far away from you and your obsession with Teresa. Honey, I can't take Jane. Teresa is Jane's biological mother, and you know the terms of the custody arrangement. You can't take Jane anywhere without a court order, or Teresa's going to stop you. And you know damn well she will. Okay, so she's already got my husband, now she's going to keep my daughter from me, too? It'll be okay, honey. You know? You'll get through this, you know? I don't know what exactly you said to Jared, but, um, he's adamant. He's leaving. Okay. It's just such a shame, too, because, you know what, he's the best thing that's happened to you in a really long time, and now he's gone for good. But, come on now, please. I'm sorry, but it's the truth. I mean, you threw away a future with a wonderful man, and I just don't understand for what? For a life of loneliness and pain? I just don't understand why you would do this to yourself. Supposed to be my friend. I accepted Jared's proposal. I do love him. I really do, but I'm like back right where I started, torn between two men. Okay, and the question is, what are you gonna do about it? I want to fix it. You know, I tried so hard to move on to to put Ethan out of my heart, and I thought I had, but no, that's what I still want. I love Jared, and I don't want to lose him over this. Well, then go. Go get him now before he's gone for good. I can't. I mean, he gave me an ultimatum. Press charges against Ethan for sexual assault or he's gone. Sexual assault? Because I didn't ask Ethan in my bed. I'm not doing it, Whitney. Okay, Jared is making this impossible. You know, I, I think what it is is Jared wants Ethan out of your life. You know, and, and can you blame him? No. I think that Jared wants the woman he's going to marry to put him first. And you know what? He's right. Now, if Ethan did come in here without your knowledge and without your permission and got into your bed, then... You know what? Maybe that is assault. Honey, he says he has no idea how he got there. Yeah. Uh-huh. I'm not calling the police on Ethan, okay? I mean, I did this to him before, remember? But I drugged Ethan. I dressed up like Gwen just to get him to sleep with me. But did he have me arrested for sexual assault? No. And if I did that to him, his life, 
his career would be ruined forever. And Jared, I don't understand why he doesn't see that Ethan is not a criminal. I hate ultimatums. He's like forcing me to, to make an impossible choice. Okay, I understand what you're saying, but maybe, you know, just maybe this is Jared's way of getting out with his pride intact, you know? What? Jared's not a fool. I think he's realized that no matter what, when, when a choice has to be made, you're always going to choose Ethan. And whether he loves you or not, what man would want to live that way? I want to for Teresa to prove to me who she had in her heart. And she's done that. It's Ethan. You know, ultimatums are cold, man. He used one to force Whitney into marrying you. Look, just because he doesn't want to put Ethan in jail doesn't mean he doesn't love you. Yeah, well, I had to make a stand at some point. The things are just getting worse and worse. Ethan is never going to go away, and I can't stand the guy. Now, at this rate, we'd have one bride and two grooms at our wedding. The marriage isn't about that. The marriage is about two people being in love, not three. You know, I should really take note of what I'm saying here, man. Because if you think that this other person you have in your life isn't going to affect your marriage, you're wrong. Marriage is about trust and faithfulness. It's about having one person that you love with all your heart. Look, Jared, I do love Whitney. Okay, this other thing has nothing to do with love. Uh, I told you, it's just... I know, I know, it's just sex. I don't know how many times you've told me this. If it's just about sex and it means nothing to you, then just end it. But whatever, that's, that's not what I'm saying here. What I'm saying is this other person is keeping you from your wife. And that's not fair to her, man. It's really not. Well, I'm sure you know this without me lecturing you. Maybe. It's just a... It's a time bomb. It's, it's, it's bound to go off at some time. Well, you know what? We're not talking about me. Yeah, I guess we're not. I don't know one thing. The woman that I marry can only have room in her heart for one man. From what I saw tonight, that's not Teresa. I asked her to prove to me that I came before Ethan, and she couldn't do that. So that's that, man. Adios, Harmony.